Hey everybody, we're here with the zoo's horticulturist, Jonathan Sharp. Jonathan is going to tell us all about the projects that go on during the fall and winter months here at the zoo. Jonathan, thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Now tell us, there are a lot of different things that go on during the fall and winter months. People might not realize how incredibly busy you are during those months. Well, yeah, as the, as the temperatures cool down, the days get shorter, the plants go dormant, but I don't go dormant. There's, there's lots to do during the fall. Um, you have, this is the best time of year to do any kind of planting with perennials, shrubs, or trees, especially after they go dormant. Because when they're dormant, they are very much less susceptible to um, transplant shock. So during uh, September, October, November, you want to plant all your trees, your conifers, your shrubs. And um, another big thing you want to do is mulch usually at least two inches thick on most of your plants. That way you have uh, better moisture retention and you help protect against frost, especially in the area of the roots. Um, the, I, I say the biggest thing for this month, and the, but the next biggest thing for this month is compost. Um, without compost, without feeding the soil, you're, you're fighting an uphill battle. Like in order for you to grow your plants the most effectively, you need to build the soil first. In order to do that, you have to fill to excuse me feed the soil builders, and those are all the bacteria, the microbes, the fungi, protozoa that live in the soil, and they eat organic matter, and they break it down and spit out the bits that the plants absorb as nutrients. They also, very importantly, produce long chain polysaccharides which is basically a sugar glue that causes the soil particles to stick together into clumps called aggregates. And these aggregates allow water to circulate in between them along with gases, oxygen, carbon dioxide. And these aggregates are the key to a healthy soil because with this fluid and uh, gas circulation you have optimum condition for the growth of more bacteria which in turn produces more nutrients for the soil. Okay, so tell me what does the zoo do to get the mulch and where does the compost come from? Well the compost, um, we try to, I try to collect as much uh, waste matter around here as possible and we have a large pile of it in the back. Um, I don't have the equipment to turn it though and so I, I make small piles of it in the back behind my greenhouse as I can but for an application this size we have to buy it. We usually buy it from any major retailer but the city also makes it. They haven't made it recently or else we've been buying it from them in bulk. But we also get their mulch from the city and we get it for free there. We get their once ground mulch and lay it on thick. And it seems to do the trick pretty well. You just got to make sure you you keep adding to it as it degrades and as it washes out. And <laughs> yeah. So the important things you're going to do, you're going to mulch, you're going to transplant any plants. Now you talked about transfer shock for some of these plants. Why is fall the best time to transfer a plant? People might think the spring would be the best time. Well, it's debatable and it's because, uh, well, in the spring you have the flush of growth. In the fall you have the preparation for dormancy. In the fall it's argued that it's the best time because when the plants are dormant, they uh, are very much less susceptible to shock, uh, transplant shock. And that just means when you dig around a plant's roots, you disturb the roots, it throws them into a defense mode where they pull their nutrients in, drop their leaves, whatever, try to stay alive because their roots, their connection to the earth has been disturbed. Um, so we'll really, the, that. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. So really the fall is the best time to do that oh, because they're going yeah. dormant. Because they're going dormant. Um, also, if the plants are, if the trees, shrubs, whatever, are in the ground before the spring, it gives them a chance to establish their roots in the soil where they're going to be for the rest of their lives. And that gives them a basically a jump start over plants that you plant in the spring because uh, they're more geared towards the bud break in the spring. So if you're planting trees, they're more apt to concentrate on putting leaves out than putting roots down. And so planting in the fall, you have a much better establishment of the root system, which is the most important thing about growing the big perennials, is establishing the roots. Okay. Well, Jonathan, thanks for joining us today. I'm sure we're all excited that you are here to take care of the plants and the trees and everything here at the zoo, and everything just looks beautiful as always. So thank, thank you. you for joining us. We'll be right back.